What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I am with my buddy Rick, Night Stalker Guide Service. Y'all remember him from the last video. Y'all love the flounder gig and stuff. So, back here tonight, we uh, it's like 11. So we're gonna go see what we can get done. We are trying to get back to town tonight, so it's gonna be a super long night. We got like a five hour drive back. So we're gonna see how many limits we can get in the boat and then uh, come back, clean them, and got a long drive ahead. So that's where I really want you watching. I'm gonna work this shoreline to start with, with y'all on the shallow side. The whole idea with that is, is I'll put you in the right spot when I say go, go, simple. All right, guys, Rick just gave us our little flounder gig in 101 tutorial. He fired up the old fan, and uh, water clarity is pretty good. Mullet jumping everywhere. Mullet in the mouth, in the face. But uh, let's see if we can find a flounder real quick. All right, guys, first fish of the night coming up. Get him. There you go. Nice and easy. Big clown. Oh, big old boy, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's my biggest flounder, guys. That is, wait, you think he's 20? Yeah, 20 inches. Heck yeah, baby. Alright, Braxton and Brad's turn now. I'm gonna let them have some fun. Guys, it's my biggest flounder yet. Uh, I can't wait to put him on a tape measure, but we'll do that back at the dock. I just wanted to show you guys while he is still pretty. Perfect head shot. That's where you want him, right at the gills. Uh, got all three in him. He's gonna eat good. 22 inches. That's what I'm talking about. Nice Rockport flounder. Pow pow! <laughs> There's fish scatter. everywhere. Mullet man special. Dirty and up. Yeah, dude. Get a crossbody. Towards the head, towards the head. Go. Bradley, you're up. I'm I know up. you've been waiting back I there. Am. There you go. Money in the bank. There you go, guys. Number four in the boat. Braxton's up. Let's see if we can get a few more. Yeah, buddy. I thought I saw it. Another big in. Good job, Brad. Awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. Baby. I'm up again, baby. Hit him. There you go. Get over him, further back on the fish. Go. There you go. Got him. Nice fish. There we go. What you asked for? There go, got a runner. 
Guys, that's a wrap. Rick, thanks for having us. We going home now. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Let lay these fish out, get some pictures, clean them up, then hit the road. Uh, guys, if you want to get down here and do some flounder gigging, there's no better person to go than with Night Stalker Guide Service. Uh, this is my second trip with him. I follow him on Facebook. If you don't, I'll leave his link in the description with his number. But I watch his Facebook. He posts all the time. Every trip that he does, he puts on Facebook. And it's nothing but limits. So, big fish too. I can't believe I got that 20, what was he, 22 or 24? 22. 22 inch flounder. flounder. So that was pretty fun, but he's going to show y'all how to clean these flounder real quick and uh, we're going to hit the road. So if y'all are new to the channel, make sure you go back and watch the other video I did with Rick. This boat that we we're in tonight, he completely built by himself. Absolutely incredible. Nothing but aluminum welding and a little ingenuity and hard work, and I'm sure a lot of sweat, blood, and tears to make this boat. He did all the lights, made all the lights by himself, or just homemade lights, everything's homemade. Got the fan on the back. This thing is absolutely massive. Uh, do this one to prep for stuff, doing stuff flounder like you would do on the grill or in the oven. First, we're gonna scale it. Stainless steel curry brush is the best thing ever invented for scaling fish. I'm gonna cut his head off. Look right here behind the fin. Right through the backbone. And right here, you can see the eggs. I'm gonna pop those out with a knife. There's the, there's the eggs, it's a female fish. And the heart is right behind this membrane. I'm gonna slit that. And I'm just gonna scrub it with my finger for now, but we'll wash that out, because you wanna get that blood right out of that pocket. Okay. Now, to do stuff flounder, we're gonna cut right down in line with the backbone. Down to the backbone like that. And then I'm gonna fillet out to the edge without breaking through the skin. Just following right along the bones. I don't know if y'all can see that here. But I'm not breaking through the skin on the outer edge if I can avoid it. Okay, and then we're gonna go back down this side. Drive your knife right along the backbone. You can do this with a regular knife. It actually works better than an electric knife, but I got my electric knife out right now, so that's what we're using. See, I'm just perfectly riding along those bones. And this would be the same way you would want to fillet a flounder if you were doing it with a regular knife. Okay, and that's pretty much ready to stuff. What you do is you take your, open this up, you take your stuffing and lay it in there, and then flop the meat back over the top. And then you cook that in the oven or on the grill, and I'm gonna give, uh, uh, Mike here the uh, recipe but uh, then you can eat the skin is real good eating on these guys get it nice and crispy the skins excellent eating then you got the meat the stuffing and then this bone once it's cooked all these bones you grab it here at the front end and they'll all pull out and you got the meat underneath on the bottom side sounds good to me stuff flounder uh, he made that look pretty easy but <laughs> he had to do a few more and then fly the rest I'm ready to eat some Flounder is probably one of my favorite fish to eat ever. And definitely my wife's favorite fish to eat. She said don't come home without flounder, so I'm not coming home without flounder. Filet of flounder, I use an electric knife because I got a lot of them to do. Still get most of the meat off of it. Most people with a regular knife will cut down the backbone, filet out to the edge like we showed you for the stuffed flounder. But I'm gonna do it with the electric knife all at one shot. And the key is rocking the knife down and over the backbone. So you don't lose any meat. 
And on the bottom side, you don't have to go all the way to the edge because there's little fringe bones right here along the edge, and you're going to throw that away anyhow. See how the meat changes right there? There's a bunch of little pin bones in there that control the outer fence. We're going to fillet this off. Cut the rib cage out. There comes that fringe meat that I said we were going to get rid of anyhow. And there's your clean fillet, no bones. Now the top side has about twice as much meat as the bottom side. Same general technique. Come in with your knife at an angle. You're just going to work along the bone, feeling it. Working back and forth. The tail, and flip. Perfect. Nothing but bones, baby. And you see how much thicker the meat is on this top side. And then again, cut the rib cage out right there behind the bone. You got the fringe meat. Now you got this fillet, no bones in it. If you want to split this fillet up real easy, grab it at the tail. Two pieces, ready to roll. You're gonna eat good. That's right. All right, we are back in the kitchen. Rick sent me some awesome recipes. I went ahead and vacuum sealed all the fish that we caught. So I'm gonna take this flounder that he cut down the middle to stuff. Take it out of this. Slide it right, put some Pam on the plate. So it's got some jambalaya, it's like minute rice. And then I went and got some lobster meat, just like chunked up lobster meat. It's probably fake, but it tastes good. So y'all saw what he did in the uh, cleaning portion of the video. Split it down the middle and then uh, cut both sides. So what I'm gonna do, uh, this rice is like 90 second rice. I'm not even gonna cook it in the microwave. I'm just gonna put it straight in. So let's do that. I don't want it super full. I'm gonna take some of this lobster. And we'll just lay this lobster on top. Super simple recipe. Basically put whatever kind of stuffing you want in it and uh, season it up. Throw it in the oven for 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how big, how big your fish is. And you just Fold it up like that. That looks awesome. So, take some Creative Glitter. Just sprinkle it. Sprinkle it on. He said the skin is the best part, so I'm putting some on the skin. And then what we're gonna do, take some Pam and just spray that skin so it can uh, crisp up. Put it on broil uh, for the last two or three minutes to crisp that skin up. But uh, that's all you have to do. Chunk her in the oven. Oven set to 350, and uh, we'll give it about 15 minutes. Check it when all the meat is flaky and white. We'll uh, put the broiler on for two or three minutes, pull it out, and uh, see what she tastes like. Oh uh, yeah, skin's nice and crisp. That looks delicious. Let that cool down for a second, and then we'll uh, give her a try. Right, we're gonna try to take one of these sides off real quick with the skin. Oh yeah, that is nothing but meat right there. Lay that right there. Get some rice and some fake lobster. Mmm. Stuffed flounder. Let's see if it tastes amazing. All right, let's get a piece of fish with some skin. Mm. Flounder is probably my favorite fish of all time. It, it kind of reminds me of crappie, but even more clean than crappie. It's like a, it's just like the cleanest fish I've ever eaten. Rice, lobster, that's a good one. So, so I'm gonna rate this flounder over the other flounder recipe that is my favorite. It's still my favorite, but this is super good. I'm gonna give this an 8.5. And I think the uh, Ritz cracker crusted flounder, I would give like a 9.8, just because that's, that's my favorite dish ever. 
But uh, Rick was right, that skin on there is amazing. Let's see if the, uh, so he said just take the middle. And all the bones come out. Just like that. Let me scrape that little bit of meat off of those bones. But that is nothing but pure goodness right there. If you enjoyed this video, leave it in the comments. I am definitely going back with Rick uh, in the future because flounder is so good and he can put you on the fish super easy. He makes it look easy anyway. But that's gonna wrap this video up. Don't forget to go to my merch site. We're doing a giveaway. Every $20 on my merch site counts as an entry to win a hunt giveaway as well as uh, Northern Knives. As you know, they're one of my sponsors. They hit me up and they want to give a knife away as well. So we'll add that to the giveaway. Um, but until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.